I was filming an album cover for a singer from Georgia in New York, and I was saying how much I love country music. And the PR company were working with Manuel at the time, and they said, would you like to meet the most famous man you've never heard of? And they flew me to Nashville for five days, which essentially was Manuel deciding whether he would do a book with me on his work. It was a great honor, but I didn't realize this. I just thought there was this really interesting, philosophical, elderly Mexican who made clothes. And then the story sort of unfolds in front of you. And some of the stories you just think this is improbable, if not a downright lie. And then you find out, oh, there he, there he is with John Lennon in that photo. Or, oh, there's Elvis. And so you start to think, okay, maybe, there, maybe this is true. essentially covers a century of American iconography. I am one of those people that don't like really the money or the power of money. I learned that as a young man. I've been empowered by who I am. It's the story of the American dream, and he will say that. He'd had loads of photographers asking him to do this, and he'd said no every time. So it was quite an honor. Um, and I'm now seven years into his endless list of clients. I've seen people come in and talk to him and get sound bites, and I've realized that isn't even the tip of the iceberg. All they do is they come in and they ask about the most famous person who last dressed, and he gives them the sound bite, and they leave, and they're missing it. <laughs>